So there is an error that occurs on Linux when you're using Unity. And this is that error. It is the Win32 exception, and you can see all the information over here. This is an access denied um, error, so we are going to fix this. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to tell you how I, fix, how, how I fixed it. The first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the path of the platform tools right over here. I'm going to do that like this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to my file manager. In my case, it's Dolphin. And I'm going to paste it over here. Once I'm over here, this is the ADB. I'm going to right click this. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to go to permissions. And I'll say is executable. This might solve the issue. Let's take a look. And indeed it did. You can see that the error is no longer there. Except it comes over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at why this is happening. Okay, so now we go to the SDK manager, which is over here. We copy this. And we go over here. And we go to the SDK manager. We're going to go to properties. Permissions is executable. Now, on Linux, there are many different types of file managers. It really depends on your desktop environment, or probably if you're not using a desktop environment, then you have a window manager. You might have to do this through the terminal. I know how to do this uh, through the through the Dolphin file manager. So you just have to make the files executable. That's all you need to do. And hopefully these errors will be gone. Let's go ahead and take a look at this again. Player settings. And uh, for some reason, so there it is. Uh, okay. And there you go. So now all of these problems are, no, well, the problems that I had before are not occurring. The next error that usually comes with the latest versions of a version of Unity is this one. So OpenJDK that's installed using the Unity Hub, it also doesn't have it also does not have execution permissions. We're going to add those as well. So there are a lot of binaries over here. Um, if you go ahead there, so you can see there are a lot of binaries. So what you can do is you can make all of them executable. Once you do that, you can see that the error for the JDK is also gone. And that's how you fix the fix all of these errors that come inside Unity, that are inside Unity. And uh, this error is mostly, I believe it only appears on Linux. So I do not know whether it appears on Windows or not.